Thank you very much. Hi, Al. Thank you so much for being here. Well, so just as I mentioned, you gave a rousing talk at Climate Countdown last fall about all of the things that we need to do to transform uh, this, the, uh, transform climate change, and to turn things around here. What would you say is the state of play with climate action now, six months later? Well, thanks in part to many of the people that are part of the TED community, we've seen tremendous progress in the development of affordable, cheap. Solar electricity, wind electricity, electric vehicles, batteries, regenerative agriculture, green hydrogen is coming along, sustainable forestry. But unfortunately, the crisis is getting much worse, much faster than predicted, and it is getting worse at a rate faster than the rate at which we're deploying these solutions. We have everything we need. We can save money. We can fight inflation. By the way,、uh, the sustainability revolution, including renewable energy, is massively deflationary. The cost continues to go down. There are multiple reasons why we should see this as a moment of decision to make a big change and get off of fossil fuels. We can't keep pumping more and more money in pursuit of short-term profit. In activities that are destroying the future of humanity, this is not a time for moral cowardice. This is not a time for surrender、uh, and reckless indifference to the fate of humanity.、Mm. Well, I mean, I think in thinking about this being a time for change, the IPCC recently put out a report where they said that if we do want to make a, a come around the bend, that we have until 2025 to see CO2 levels peak. I mean that's just three years from now. How realistic do you think that actually well, is? Well, actually, what they said it needs to peak between 2020 and 20, and no later than 2025. Yes. First, let me share some good news from that dire IPCC report. They also said if we reach net zero, true net zero, then the temperatures on our planet will stop going up in, with a lag of as little as three to five years. And if we stay at net zero, half of the human-caused CO2 in the atmosphere will fall out of the atmosphere in as little as 25 to 30 years. We have the technologies, we have the solutions, we have the ability to stop this progressive destruction of the future of humanity and start the long healing process. But We have to break through the capture of our political systems. Do, sh- they say boycotts don't work. Should we boycott all of these banks and all of these financial institutions?、Uh, sh- you know, scientists, climate scientists, some of them announced last week and started doing this, gluing themselves to the、uh, to, to the uh, doors uh, to the gates of these fossil fuels、uh, facilities. Uh, if climate scientists have reached the conclusion that more facts and more data and more research is of absolutely no good, unless we, the people, can find the means to break through the imprisonment of our self-determination on the part of large, massive polluters who are just looking at profits, then the scientists say they have to go into the streets.、Mm. So、uh, I'm sorry to get all hot and, and 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 charged up about this. I think everyone appreciates it. I think everyone appreciates it. But yes, what the what the IPCC report? I mean, you know, it's an asymptotic curve that gets closer and closer to absolute panic. Okay,、uh, and all the reports are very similar.、Uh, this is real. You know, Voltaire once said, "If you can convince people." Of absurdities, you can convince them to commit atrocities. We are seeing that in Ukraine today. We are seeing that on a global basis with this reckless indifference to the future of humanity. What will we say to the next generations when they look back and see you had the chance to do this? We have the means. The IE, the International Energy Agency, says that in order to cut emissions by 50%. Uh, in in 2030, we have all of the technologies we need, fully developed, with deployment plans that have been proven to work. For the next 50 percent, between 2030 and 2050, all of the technologies are in various stages of development. They can be ready if we decide to 
to develop them quickly enough, they will be ready. We have to stop destroying our future. It sounds so simple, but we have to break through this paralysis. Well, we have to break through this paralysis, ladies and gentlemen. Al Gore. Well, I have one other thing to say. Oh, sure. And I've said this before. Do not give up hope. And remember always that political will is itself a renewable resource. Thank you. Thank you so much, Al.